Well, Chris and I met that we were uh, both at a, a show. We were both making furniture at the time, and we were at a, a, a show in Providence, Rhode Island. We just hit it all together. And he, then he somehow he found out I made guitars, and he's like, hey, man, make guitars. And I, at that time, I quit. I just said, no, I, I don't talk to me about it. It's just, you know. He kept bugging me. And he said, you know, and then I think I'm the one who said, well, you should just bring me out for a workshop someday. And of course he laughed, and then 14 years later, 13 years later, I finally, here I am. I think it demystifies a lot of stuff that, you know, these things aren't magically made somewhere, that there's guys like me who do them, and it, and it shows that it's not impossible to do. It's just a bunch of wood. I just looked at a finished guitar and said, well, why can't I do that? And did it. And so hopefully it'll motivate people. The frustrating part for people who first start making things is it seems like a huge mountain to get over from when you start to the finished product. Everybody just wants to get the finished product. But it's not about that. It's about the actual making of it is why people like me do what we do. About 30 years ago, I started making guitars. And back then, nobody cared about what I was doing. And, and nobody cared for a long time. And I tried and tried. to. To do it, but you know, you, there's only so many things you can give to your mother, and there's only so many things you can store under your bed before you got to move on. And you know, I'm, I was trained more or less in wood and a, and a furniture maker, so that's a bigger market. Because I had put things on the internet way back in the beginning of it, even though I tried to take them off, they were still floating around out there. So people calling me up saying, We make guitars, make guitars, and it, that's how I got back into it. By then, People were looking for something different than they were in the 80s and the 90s, and sure, I was ready to go at that point. I just like making objects. I like I like making objects, and I like the fact that people want the objects, and I and, and I like the fact that I can hand them to musicians, and they make their art out. That's the most amazing thing to me. You can't get that out of a painting or a sculpture, but a guitar lives another life. It goes into somebody's hands and then they use it as a tool. And it's, you know, that to me is what's, it, it, it's not art, it's a, it's a functional object, it's not art. It's, 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 a th it's a tool. And that's, you know, it's hard to describe how enjoyable that is. I'm fascinated by how well run this place is and how, um, and I've been in a lot of art schools. And the uh, attitude in, in, of, of the students here is just amazing. I think people who teach here are lucky, and I think they know that.